country, grew in size and sophistication and became increasingly fixed, for most purposes at Westminster, although the royal treasury came to rest in the tower. While the city of Westminster developed into a true governmental capital, its distinct neighbor, the city of London, remained England's largest city and principal commercial center and flourished under its own unique administration, the Corporation of London. In 1100, its population was some 18,000, by 1300 it had grown to nearly 100,000. With the Black Death in the mid-14th century, London lost nearly a third of its population. London was the focus of the Peasants' Revolt in 1381. London was a center of England's Jewish population before their expulsion by Edward I in 1290. Violence against Jews occurred in 1190, when it was rumored that the new king had ordered their massacre after they had presented themselves at his coronation. In 1264 during the Second Barons' War, Simon de Montfort's rebels killed 500 Jews while attempting to seize records of debts. During the Tudor period, the Reformation produced a gradual shift to Protestantism. Much of London property passed from church to private ownership, which accelerated trade and business in the city. In 1475, the Hanseatic League set up a main trading base, Contour, of England in London, called the Stahlhof or Steelyard. It remained until 1853, when the Hanseatic cities of Lübeck, Bremen and Hamburg sold the property to Southeastern Railway. Woolen cloth was shipped undyed and undressed from 14th-15th century London to the nearby shores of the Low Countries. Yet English maritime enterprise hardly reached beyond the seas of Northwest Europe. The commercial route to Italy and the Mediterranean was normally through Antwerp and over the Alps, any ships passing through the Strait of Gibraltar to or from England were likely to be Italian or Ragusan. The reopening of the Netherlands to English shipping in January 1565 spurred a burst of commercial activity. The Royal Exchange was founded. Mercantilism grew and monopoly traders such as the East India Company were founded as trade expanded to the New World. London became the main North Sea port, with migrants arriving from England and abroad. The population rose from about 50,000 in 1530 to about 225,000 in 1605. In the 16th century, William Shakespeare and his contemporaries lived in London during English Renaissance theatre. Shakespeare's Globe Theatre was constructed in 1599 in Southwark. Stage performances came to a halt in London when Puritan authorities shut down the theatres in the 1640s and 1650s. The ban on theatre was lifted during the Restoration in 1660, and London's oldest operating theatre, Drury Lane, opened in 1663 in what is now the West End Theatre District. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video.